Menteri dan uh, Pak Samad dan uh, ahli-ahli panel kita selalu dengar daripada Pak Samad bagaimana double, majlis double honor ini di mana untuk mengenang uh, seorang negarawan dan untuk meraihkan seorang uh, sastrawan uh, uh, diadakan dan uh, saya sangat gembira bahawa kita ada dengan kita ahli parlimen uh, seperti Tere Sakok, ahli parlimen Sekambut, Dip Eng, ahli parlimen uh, Sedan Jemik uh, dengan kita dan uh, ada Dr. 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 Shi uh, Sanggit uh, khasnya uh, Tunggu Mohit Birat, cucu Tunggu Abdurrahman Tino Asma, Al Pitch, dan tadi kita ada dengar mengenai mai perkara, mengenai tunggu dan persamaan, dan saya rasa satu sebab penting kenapa kita ada double masuk istana online ini ialah oleh kerana tunggu, tunggu dan persamaan. Embodiment of the quintessential Malaysian. I think that 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 be a common word. Quintessential, quintessential Malaysian. Q U I N T E S S I N T I L. Quintessential Malaysian. The very embodiment of a a of a Malaysian yang kita mau lihat hasnya apabila berlaku baru-baru ini. All the storms and stresses. Sebenarnya, api bela setengah ambigat tadi. I thought of a of a book that I study in form four. There's something probably our students don't study that anymore. That alone, that that book, A Tale of Two Cities. You remember what how it started? Yes. Check this. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. It was the age of wisdom. It was the age of foolishness. It was the epoch of belief. It was the epoch of incredulity. It was the season of light. It was the season of darkness. It was the spring of hope. It was winter of despair. We have everything before us. We have nothing before us. We are all going direct to heaven. We are all going direct to hell. It seems to describe Malaysia today. Oleh kerana kita kita ada potential Malaysian, dia kepelihat baru-baru ini. The last few days, the days of Ismail Sabri, as Maria tadi pointed out, satu isu yang tak kira mungkin ada dengan kaum muncak satu race isu. And what did our minister for minister for defence say today? Not that bad, but not as bad as I guess. My goodness, I where have we gone to? Not as bad as I guess. It's not a state. We want to come to a state where we are beheading, burning of people, destruction. It uh, all the all the uh, inhuman, inhuman, inhuman things. I mean that that sentence, that expression itself is shocking. As shocking as what Sabri. What is Mal Safari said, and I think that's why we must go back. As Amiga said, we must go back to the basics. Return to what we have set out. Merdeka 57, Malaysia 63, untuk build a new nation. Mujahid said that don't go a jovial man. I think he's a jolly good fellow. I think that is a sentence that can be used. On Tunku, right? Not many many people who can we can describe that with the Tunku is aware of that because the last few years I was able to have the benefit of some spend some time with him. He's a jolly good fellow, and of course the humanity, that anonymity in him. But most important of all, he wants to be happy, happiest friends, and that's his his hope because there will be peace, harmony, unity. Which is so lacking today. When I think of the Tunku, 
Some of the things, of course, he, I don't agree with him completely. But there's no doubt that some of the things he probably would have done. Well, Tunku suspended local government actions, and recently, local government actions have suddenly had become a very uh, a, 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 a great controversy. Tunku was suspended on the 1st of March, exactly 50 years ago, 1965. Of course, at the time, Ancaman in Indonesia and Then there are other parts of Tujaminan, the party parliament. Bahawa apabila perdamaian peace uh, dipulihkan, Indonesian confrontation ended, there would be elections, local government elections. 50 years of it, we don't have any quite any elections. But I think if he had continued as a Prime Minister, I think he would have fulfilled his promise. If he had continued as a Prime Minister, he would have fulfilled his promise to hold local government elections. I think that is one of for us to ponder. Because I think he believed in this democratic uh, process, in the deepening of the democratic process, in the building a united, harmonious nation. And uh, I think one of the most uh, famous uh, stands of uh, Tunku, not only of Tunku, but of the first three prime ministers, is commitment to the federal constitution. The bedrock principles on which the nation was founded. In particular, Malaysia as a democratic and secular nation. And I think that you would have uh, stood by it. But unfortunately, we have uh, uh, other prime ministers who have uh, seemed to have uh, drifted away from the bedrock principles of the federal constitution. I still remember, I still remember in his. Uh, uh, last year's to go across the road in the SIC, a newspaper column in the Star. And uh, there was one column where he wrote about, at that time, a big, a big issue was the question of North South Highway, North, How, North South Expressway. And I was one of those who, one of the uh, media critics, not because we were opposed to North South Expressway, but the way the, pri the privatization was uh, carried out, what I call piratization. Not privatization, but piratization. And at that time, Tunku wrote a call, a call on Amno not to be involved. It was at that time Amno was involved through uh, UEM, uh, Hadibudi, and at that time Tunku wrote a call and said that it sets a very bad principle. Political party being involved in business projects, and he called on the Prime Minister at that time, Dr. Mahathir, to not to be involved and to ensure that Amno is not involved in these projects. And I'm sure he will be horrified to twist around at one MDB. And we just become an even greater monster of a government involvement, but political party involvement uh, uh, project. And I'm sure that uh, well, Tunku is the set up Raw Commission Inquiry into the lower government and I'm sure you would have no hesitation in having a royal commission inquiry into the floods. The worst floods uh, catastrophe in living memory. And I think uh, even now in uh, Kelantan, in the Kuala Kerai, in particular in Kuala uh, Musang, the after effects are still horrifying. Because you know, it was ground zero at that time. And, uh, and because we went and visited, it was ground zero. It's not a question of the floods came in, and uh, 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 water uh, receded, the whole uh, human settlement was destroyed. Buildings, you see buildings uh, uh, not only uh, uh, awry, being swept away completely. So I think it was a human disaster. It's a disaster, although there are civil linings where we see all Malaysians uh, uh, responding as one people, regardless of race, regardless of religion, regardless of region, coming together by, to the assistance. But I think such a catastrophe is something which we must uh, learn the lessons. And I'm not very sure we have learned the lessons. And, and that lesson to be learned must be a full, proper inquiry as to why the disaster management was so, such a watch up job. And I'm sure, I'm sure Tunku will have a, uh, established the Royal Commission inquiry in order to find out what went wrong. Some of the thoughts that I have that uh, 
as compared to the days of Tunku. The, I'm sure you'll be horrified at the corruption that is rampant today, at the weakening of the important national institutions, judiciary, the police. Today, uh, uh, today we, we still read of reports about the Inspector General of Police, IGP going to call up uh, Ismail Sabri to take a statement from him. Of all, when the, when the cabinet has already cleared him. So what is the, I just don't understand, what for? Is the so, IGP or the police going to say the cabinet wrong? Prime Minister wrong? And our problem is, we have two, our Faksama, Tuku, the quintessential, quintessential, quintessential Malaysian. We don't have any one of them in the cabinet. 35 ministers, none of them is a quintessential. Quintessential, quintessential Malaysia. Because if they are, they will never have taken that decision. That decision which ordinary school children will not even endorse. To believe that the, to believe that the, what Islam said was right. What Islam Sabri said was right. Nobody believes it, 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 it could be right. I'm glad to see uh, uh, just now, just flipping through the, the internet, that the, there was another uh, a forum this morning, the title is Ismail Sabri should think before opening mouth forum tour. And who were in this forum? The former NU uh, uh, VC, Tan Sri Gauk Jaslas Moon. You have uh, Professor Tato Muhammad Abu Bakar. You have my old friend uh, Chandra Musafa. And they all said that uh, horrifying, horrifying what uh, Ismail Sabri come completely unacceptable. And Chandra Musaba even suggested that the Prime Minister should take his entire cabinet to retreat and tell them, you know, what is right and what is wrong. But the whole problem is the Prime Minister himself doesn't know what is right and what is wrong. So, I mean, and I think this is what we need. We come to Mark, Mengenang Dalit Negarawan, Meraihkan Sastrawan, because of their quintessential, the very difficult word to pronounce it, quintessential. Potential, potential the Malaysian. I think we, we should learn from them. Because you know, that's the only way to save Malaysia. Because Malaysia is, is as I said, the clouds, but we, there seems to be hope. We are in a, a winter of despair. And I think was my high hope in this and uh, Ambigas uh, call. I think it's very, very uh, appropriate, a very apt. There must be a a national response where everybody can come together. Just now, but some he was an unknown member, he's not a sin. Bukan dosa. <laughs> uh, regardless of what party we are, I think there's a time to come for all Malaysians to come together. To sit down. Vision 2020 is 25 years from now. Are we going to achieve that Vision 2020 as a tr truly developed nation? Truly developed nation in all aspects political, education, economic, every aspect. Are we going to go back? Are we, are somehow are we going to find our way back to the <laughs> earlier days that I think pitch is uh, 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 fighting for, where we can have a, a good education system? I'm not saying that uh, our children should be reading the Tino Two Cities in Pong 4, when, when, which I did. It was a textbook, a textbook, Pong 4. But at least I think we need a more uh, uh, a more successful, a more effective education system as of, as of now, where according to international educational assessments, you are three, four, five years behind the best countries. But then uh, we have an uh, entire cabinet which is even worse and worse, even worse than our ordinary school students. I think that we, we are facing a, a multiple crisis, crisis of nationality political, economic, human rights, democracy, and we have to find our way back. And I think there is no better way to do it than what Ambika suggested. Uh, a national reconciliation effort. I can speak on behalf of the AP, I'm sure I won't speak on behalf of Kata Rakyat. We are meeting tomorrow for Kata Rakyat, but I will speak on behalf of the AP and we fully support, fully welcome this call by Ambika. And we hope that all the political parties civil society will respond and support Ambika's call. Because I think this is the only way 
and it be a very meaningful way to for uh, 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 to give substance for this double honor, uh, much less a, a double honor to mengenang uh, negarawan dan meraihkan sastrawan, and because this will become, we all try to be negarawan, nah, huh? huh? You all try to be negarawan, <laughs> and uh, I think that is what is all. And I'm talking about Tunku, I'm sure he, he was. He proposed the permission of Malaysia, and he will be horrified at the way things are happening. As far as uh, Sabah and Sarawak is concerned, we have Teresa Kok who has just uh, been banned from uh, entering the Sabah. After being banned from entering uh, Sarawak, I think Ambika also. Uh, uh, another beneficiary of the ban. <laughs> I was banned uh, from Sabah and Sarawak in the 70s. Now, I don't know when I'm going to be banned again. But there is a month that we are going backwards. We're getting uh, not going forward. It's a, it, it is an indication that we are going back in terms of our fundamental liberties, our, our democratic freedoms, our human rights. We should, we should be going forward. Of course, there is a movement in the government is very concerned about what is known as the SSKM. SSKM, correct? SSKM uh, uh, campaign. Sabah Sarawak Kluang Malaysia. Started by, I mean, basically a reflection of unhappiness of, uh, of uh, the people in Sabah and Sarawak. The feeling that uh, they have not been uh, given uh, a fair, uh, fair deal in the last 51 years. And I uh, don't blame the Sabah people, in particular, you see the, the whole the problem of illegal immigrants. Over a million illegal immigrants under the Project IC or Project Mate. And I'm sure it will be something that Tunku will be horrified. And uh, I have no doubt that he will be very, very supportive of any idea of a Royal Commission inquiry into the 51 years of Sabah and Sarawak in Malaysia, how whether the hopes and aspirations of the people of Sabah and Sarawak in coming into Malaysia, informing Malaysia, have been fulfilled. And, and if not, how they can be uh, ratified. I mean, these are things we have a sense of greater togetherness, that uh, we can have our political differences. But finally, we are all Malaysians. We have uh, on the make the best of this country. And that was why when I was in detention, I wrote him, I wrote to him, the Tunku, Give my view as to how Malaysia can go forward. And for those who are in the darkness of me and the team. Because we are all Malaysians. Whatever our political differences, we are one people. And we should continue in that spirit. And that is the spirit of which Amiga has suggested. And uh, I hope that uh, we will be able to find a, set, a, a, a response. It will resonate among the people, but it will, whether it will resonate among uh, those in power, I think. Uh, let that just wait for them to uh, respond instead of uh, tell me again. Thank you very much.